so the topic which we are going to discuss is emerging trends in digital photography you all know the meaning of digital photography am i right now it's very interesting to know the history of digital photography or the digital uh, history of uh, photography this person is uh, william henry fox now the art of photography photograph or photography was started in 1840s when william henry fox talbot combined light paper a few chemicals and wooden box to produce the first photography print now for you people it's very simple that from your smartphone you can uh, click the picture it's ready but if you look at the history it's a very difficult thing how to take the first photo so such a lot of pain this person had taken and uh, in 18th century this was the camera which was used to click the picture you can see the size of the camera it starts from here and it ends here you cannot use it in your pocket am i right you cannot keep it in your pocket and click pictures wherever you go you need to install this camera over this stand wooden stand and then you can click the picture from here so this was just worth knowing so i downloaded this picture for you now history of photographs if you see then uh, actually uh, this image i have downloaded uh, from the net here you can see the evolution slowly slowly how the thing developed then time to time there were many changes in photography the major change was the technology advancement and innovation of digital camera now before digital cameras were invented this type of uh, rule okay which had got a negative in it was used to click the pictures and through one roll you can click up to only 36 photos it was a very difficult thing to click picture and at the time when you click the picture you cannot see the result after you finish clicking all the 36 pictures you have to give this roll to the color lab and then they will take the print out of each photo separately on paper and then give you so another change was instead of using film to store the image the digital camera captured the image in matrix of pixels so instead of this film nowadays in digital thing the images are stored in the form of pixels digital photography is similar to conventional film photography digital cameras also uses light to create images the only difference is that instead of using the film to store the image the digital cameras capture images as matrix of pixels the image becomes sharper with more number of pixels when you purchase the smartphone also the company makes you fool by giving the more number of megapixels and you get attracted towards that phone but if really the megapixel is more then definitely the clarity will be more there is a reason we see 10 megapixel 12 megapixel etc when this book was written in those days 10 megapixel and 12 megapixel was a new this thing then uh, nowadays we can click the photos in the smartphone these are the older type of uh, mobile phones in which uh, photography was possible the process of clicking photos has recently changed with the mobile phone and the inbuilt camera in starting we found two megapixel camera in a basic mobile phone so this is the image of basic mobile phone in which we had got a rear camera with the clarity of 2 megapixels 
Nokia. In year 2012, Nokia came out with 41 megapixel camera with a resolution of 7728 multiplied by 23 uh, 5352. It was a uh, more sharper image than uh, the previous one. Now this is the image of a digital camera. Now always remember that uh, how so uh, better uh, or best camera you purchase, sorry smartphone you purchase, it will not the photography will not be as good as digital camera because if you just try to use your common sense, you get the answer that. the lens of this camera is extended this much in between there are so many lenses to process the image and the size of this lens is also more while in digital uh, this thing in smartphones the size of the camera is very small so even if the company claims of uh, 64 megapixel or 48 megapixel it will never be as sharp as the image clicked by digital camera so this is the image of a smartphone there were a lot of competitions for smartphones due to their high due to their capability of taking photos as well as sharing capacity to tackle the issue mentioned samsung introduced android based camera called galaxy so here this is not the image of smartphone but it is the rear side of this camera itself and it is known as galaxy fine at present we don't find anything new in this camera when this textbook was written everything was new this textbook was written in year 2012 13 this camera comes with operating system 3g wifi etc we can connect upload share the image in social media now those days these all things were considered new because suppose if i want to share an image i have to click it with the digital camera i will have to transfer it to my laptop and from laptop through net connection i will open my uh, social networking site and then i will upload that long procedure was there so this samsung galaxy camera replaced all these things now uh, it was uh, it has auto cloud backup and it uh, also save the image or saves the image in cloud as soon as the image is captured that is a very good thing right now also if we keep on the settings of uh, google photos on then our photos will be saved in the cloud this camera is also able to perform operations based on our voice command then recent photography trends we can categorize the recent photography trends into phonography macro photography hdr photography retro style 360 uh panorama drones and selfie now this word phonography i have never heard except in your textbook your textbook author is just great introduce all these new words so this is known as phone graphy simple thing you click the photo with a mobile that is the term is just as phone graphy and the next thing is macro photography in which you click the photos of smaller objects right then hdr photography this is uh, the settings are much more clear than the normal photograph so not clear but uh, sharpened Okay, it looks like a professional thing. This is known as HDR photography. In our smartphone also, we have got HDR mode. Then retro style photography. What is the meaning of retro style photography? I have downloaded specially the images of these different styles which are given in the textbook so that you get the exact idea of instead of simply reading out the names from the textbook. Retro means the photograph looks historical. as if the photograph is a painting olden painting or a very old uh, photograph so retro photography refers to images that provide an aesthetic or feel from the past then panorama view that you all know then uh, 
Next thing is drones. Drones is also not new for you. It has become common nowadays. And selfie. Yeah, most, uh, mostly youngsters and uh, girls use on clicking selfies. Then we come to the next topic and that is internet enabled television. Nowadays almost uh, all of us in our house are using this type of internet enabled television. The television has uh, gone through a drastic technological change from CRT monitor to LED monitor. Right? You can see the drastic change in the technology. Now we will be familiar with internet enabled television. We are already familiar with internet enabled television. This is not at all new for you people. We just need a special high speed internet connection and unlimited data allowance to take the advantage of internet enabled television. Then the new features of internet enabled or some few features of internet enabled uh, television is uh, you can uh, use uh, YouTube, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon Video On Demand, then Spotify, Netflix, Flix, Hulu, Sports, Video Games, Twitter, Facebook and other social networking apps etc. Okay, now we come to the last topic of this chapter and that is green computing. What is the meaning of green computing? Such devices which are introduced in the market uh, which uses minimum amount of energy. Right. So green computer is the practice of using computer resources efficiently. Designing, manufacturing and disposing computer servers without no, um, with no impact on the environment. To reduce the use of dangerous material, maximize energy efficiency during the product's lifetime. Then uh, in reducing energy consumption, what should we do is turn off the computer, not in use, even if uh, just for an hour. Turn off the monitor when not in use. Use power saver mode. Use hardware or software with the energy saver label, energy star label. Don't print useless uh, unless sorry, or you don't print uh, useless unnecessary things, or you don't print unless necessary, and you are uh, ready. Use. LCDs instead of CRTs. Obviously, now we are going to use CRT as they are more power efficient. Energy star. What is energy star? This is the symbol of energy star. This is also the symbol of energy star. One of the first uh, many uh, many uh, festations of green movement was the launch of energy star program back in 1992. Energy Star served as a kind served as a kind of voluntary label awarded to computing products that succeeded in minimizing the use of energy while maximizing the efficiency. So wherever you see this symbol, you understand that it this thing is going to consume minimum power and produce maximum efficiency. Energy Star applied to products like computers monitor, uh, television sets and temperature control devices like refrigerator, air condition and similar items. So here we complete this chapter, goodbye.